there are few mysteries left in the sports world. But one that always intrigues me is this. After all the preparation and planning, come race day. Do the guys that rise to the top love winning? Or just really, really hate losing? The old cliché goes that every season starts as a clean slate. But that doesn't mean that the learnings of races gone by are simply erased. All of us have been training really hard. Each of us have a different approach at this. I think I just put a lot of pressure on myself just because I've came second here a few times. Great start by Croxo. Scott knows there's a lot of room between he and third place, so he knows right now all he's got to do. Most important thing to keep in mind on the track is just focus. If I don't concentrate on something, that's when a guy can fall and then lose a whole race. Marco Delago not letting Cameron Nas get too far away from him. Both advance to the final. I have to deal with the fact that I'm the world champion now. This is a, a factor that really makes pressure. It'd be nice to swap places with Marco. I mean, I'll squeeze under his arm this year and just make a sick pass. Marco Delago really working to try and find some space, and he does! Scotty Crocs all chasing him hard, and it's gonna go to Marco Delago! It's literally gonna come down to who does have the most endurance in that final. We want to beat each other really a lot. Two third places has got me really hungry for that victory. Hopefully get to race each other and see who can be faster. The concept of turning it on for race day is a contradiction. There's rarely one key moment in the lead up to the starter's call. Instead, it's a 48 hour endorphin drip the dosage steadily increasing as the clock ticks down. First time that I see it from the top, and man, this looks difficult. Follow me now, there is somewhere I want to go. You know me well, and that is how it is. That's a good obstacle. They're coming really quick, so it's difficult to take them. A few more runs to figure that out. The rollers are awesome. I doubled them. Double, double. It's gonna be an interesting race. You gotta check it out. It's gonna be a tricky part. I can age. What happened with it? On the second jump or what? I just caught the knuckle a bit on the top of the first one and didn't feel good. I'm tired. It's a long track. My lung is like a flat tire. The time trial may determine seating for the heats. But more importantly, it's also the first real inkling of whether a racer is in the hunt. I'm a little pissed at the warm weather. But what are you supposed to do? Yeah. The exuberant yell says it all. An unanticipated fastest time for Moriarty, and an unsubtle message to the others entertaining thoughts of winning. Let's begin by saying this. There will be no fairy tale ending here tonight for our contenders. Cameron Nas is currently leading this race. Got that out of the way, that's always the hardest one, so. Woo. Marco Delago, our reigning world champion. 
His speed out of the gate is very, very impressive. Marco Delago is going to win this heat. I want to continue like that. Scott Croxall, such a solid skater, so consistent. Lots of ruts, but same as the practice rounds this morning, so good to go. How about this race? This could be a final in any other race. Derek Wedge goes down, Marco Delago in second, Cameron Nas sitting in third place. He is in a really tough spot now. Here comes Cameron Nas on the inside. Oh my goodness. Got a good pump down that transition and just gave it all I had. Scott Croxall gets out to a good lead. Kyle needs a minor miracle here to move on. Oh, Scott goes down. Could it be a Kyle Croxall, Scott Croxall? Oh my goodness. Scotty Croxall gets eliminated. Had a huge lead. Messed up on the last jump. That's it. Cheering on my brother for sure. Looks like Cameron Nas has been saving a little bit of juice with Kyle Croxall right on his tail. DeLago, our reigning world champ, taken out and dropped. I think it's possible for a lot of guys now to be at the top. Just makes it more interesting. Let's get this countdown going. It is the finals here. Athletes on course. It's been a great start, but look at this. Dean Moriarty out to the hole shot, and Croxall takes over the lead. Cameron Nass back there in fourth. Dean Moriarty losing some ground now. Very nice job by Kyle Croxall. There will be no improvement on his third place St. Paul finish for Nas today. I'm a little disappointed, but uh, I'm glad I got through the round of 32, to tell you the truth. So. No repeat victory for DeLago. No first win for Scott Croxall. Instead, a competitor that many believed was very literally losing his edge, once again found a way to win. Your winner here in St. Paul, Kyle Croxall. Red Bull crash die season has begun, and as Helsinki, then Belfast, and finally Edmonton unfold, keep this in mind. The inspiration to step onto the track you might simply chalk up to the search for an adrenaline buzz, but the motivation to race is something different altogether. To put your strengths and shortcomings out on the track on race night, your effort and your error on display in front of 100,000 fans Win or lose, this is something worth watching. Hold it close, I need you so I want you in my dreams. Hold it close, I need you so I want.